drama. I realize I get the dramatic side from my mom. Yeah, mom. I get it from you. Ouch. I can't find this feeling, feeling. Hello, my favorite people on planet Earth. Other than my family and my close friends and God. So today we're doing a DIY video shoot. I wanted to take it back to basics. This is a very TikTok, Instagram real, YouTube short, very social media specific video shoot. But I just wanted to kind of have fun with just a single outfit, a plain wall, and just play around with just simple techniques like RGB lighting and slow motion and all that good stuff. So that's what we're doing today. So for the shoot, you guys, I'm shooting with my Sony A7S III. I'm shooting on 100. 20 frames per second so that I can achieve the smoothest slow-mo possible. I'm shooting with my two newer panel RGB light link below. Y'all already know. I'm shooting with them both on red for the first scene. For the second scene, I actually noticed I was a silhouette when I was filming the behind the scenes. I was like, oh heck yes, this has to happen. So I put the lights on the wall, just shine them on the wall, stood in front of them and created the beautiful silhouette scene. And then for um, the last scene, I put a scene on so my lights can create different scenes like candlelight, please. And I use paparazzi. So one of my lights was paparazzi, one of my lights was red back to silhouette mode and um yeah I created some fun stuff with that I actually had a lot of fun creating this video let's go into editing also you guys I just wanted to note that this video is a part of a 30 day create challenge that I'm doing on my TikTok and Instagram don't worry if you didn't start right in the beginning you can start whenever you like but it's just to get into the habit the motivation of creating so if you guys decide to join if you already have joined it's exciting over here. It's exciting on those parts. You probably, probably have already seen this, but yeah, it's a little bit more detailed on how we did it. All right. <laughs> I love y'all. Now let's hop into editing. So I'm editing with Final Cut Pro. I'm just creating a new event, calling it editing tutorial. Make sure your settings are on vertical if you guys are doing a vertical video. And then I'm just making the dimensions a little bit higher and clicking OK. Then I'm gonna go over to the event I just created. And in that event should already be a vertical project awaiting for me if I can find the right event, there we go. So in that event, I'm gonna go ahead and start to drag in my clip that I wanna play with. So I'm gonna first start with just the red RGB lighting clip. Just scrub through, make sure it's the right one. Then I'm gonna drag that straight into my timeline and that will automatically put it in your library as well. And so now I'm just gonna cut to where I see like the song starts and where I'm about to walk in. So I'm switching over to my blade tool or you can just press B on your keyboard and I'm gonna cut right there, go back to my select tool, pressing A on the keyboard. And then I'm gonna select that first chunk and delete it, pressing the delete button on my keyboard. I'm turning down the audio because I'm going to import my own audio and then I'm making the video slow motion because as I mentioned, I filmed it at 120 frames per second so that it would be a very smooth slow motion video. All right, so now I'm just trimming a little bit from the front because now that it's slow-mo, that walk was extra slow. <laughs> so I don't want to keep my audience waiting. So I'm just kind of trimming it pressing the space bar to play it and just kind of scrubbing through to decide where I want that clip to start and where I want that clip to end. So once I found the ending points, pressing B to go back to my blade tool, cutting that, and then just kind of looking through to see if there's any other parts of that clip I want. I don't, so I'm selecting it and deleting. Now I'm bringing in the next clip, which is the silhouette clip. So I'm just gonna scrub through, find that clip, drag it in. And then I can actually copy by pressing command copy, command C or edit copy. You can copy um, settings from one clip and then go to edit paste effects onto another clip. So these are both gonna be slow-mo with no audio. So I can just quickly paste those settings on without having to set all that up again. Once again, I'm just scrubbing through to find a moment that I like. I didn't like any of those moments. So I'm going to the other silhouette clip and then same thing, I'm gonna select that clip edit and paste the effects. I didn't have to turn it down, I decided to, but you could do that by just dragging down the audio waves. So now I'm scrubbing through this clip, you guys, to try to find what section I'm going to use. I really like this point, so press my B for blade tool, deleted that first chunk. And again, just pressing spacebar so I can scrub through, see where I want that clip to end. Went back to my blade tool, and then I'm just cutting that chunk, scrubbing through some more, seeing if there's anything else I wanna deal with the body roll. 
anyways so I don't like anything in that clip going back to my selection tool deleting and then I'm gonna add that last clip with the paparazzi flashing lights flashing lights again I'm gonna go to edit I'm gonna paste the effects that I pasted onto the two clips I click paste attributes which is kind of the same thing if you want to eliminate some of the edits um, but I'm going to paste effects and I really like that pout that pout turn that's like that defines my character right there so I'm gonna make sure just drag and trim to where that pout is and then just kind of end rotter so once again blade tool select tool and delete so now you guys I'm just gonna add in some audio um, typically I would actually put the audio in first so that I could cut the video in alignment to the audio but you guys can go through see what clips you like first then add in the audio and then chop the video up to your liking um, but yeah so I'm just adding in the audio now and again you guys are just playing around splitting clips cutting clips dragging clips getting them where you want them and just having fun so I'm dragging in my audio file just like I dragged in my video files it's a little long so of course I'm gonna go to my B for blade tool it's funny because it's called B for blade tool but it actually gives you like a pair of scissors but I digress and then I'm gonna select this extra luscious and delete that and then we're going to press spacebar and just play through the whole thing see where we're at see if we like it Ooh, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> and yeah I like it so that's how I edited this of course you guys can file export and boogie on down because you just edited and finished your video hey get it hey what oh 